I want to give you a word of caution about using Outlook. And this is not, you know, something to scare you. Don't worry about it. Outlook stores everything in one file. That means all of your contacts, all of your emails, all of your calendar appointments, tasks, everything gets stored in one file. So if that file gets corrupt, guess what? That's right, you're in trouble. <laughs> so what I want to show you how to do now is uh, find and locate where that file is and then you can use whatever normal backup means you're, you're accustomed to using. Click on File, go to Data File Management, and then, you know, if you're just one person, click on Personal Folders, and that'll be yours. That'll be the file that you're using. Earlier, I showed you how to do multiple accounts and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, you know, if you do that, then you have to make sure that you're backing up the appropriate one. But with that selected, click Open Folder, and that's going to pull up the folder that actually contains the Outlook file. Notice it's pretty big, 289 megabytes. What you want to do then is take that file and however you normally back up things. If you want to put it, put a copy on your server, put a copy on a CD, uh, whatever you typically do, you want to go ahead and back it up. One thing, it doesn't hurt to go ahead, I'll right click and do copy. And then I'll just go to, let's create a new folder here. And I'll call this backup. Double click backup. I'll right click and go to paste, but the file is probably locked. Yep, it is because Outlook is open. So let's go back to Outlook. I'm going to close this and I'll close Outlook down. And now I'll right click and I should be able to paste it now. There we go. Now, obviously, if my hard drive crashes, both of these copies are on the hard drive and it's toast. But if the file just gets corrupt, then at least I've got another, you know, another area where I've got that saved and I'll be able to retrieve that. Remember though, that with a backup, it's only as good as, you know, the last time that you did it. So if you back up now and six months later your hard drive crashes or you lose the data, then you're only going to be able to go back six months. So if we're dealing with mission critical stuff, uh, then you want to back up more frequently. This is really helpful, though, if, uh, let's say, for example, you wanted to make sure you had a copy of your contacts. Your emails, maybe they're not that big of a deal, but you want your contacts, you want your appointments, uh, things like that. So that, that'll ensure that you have all that information for safekeeping.